Gordon, you, um, you're a living demonstration to me. Okay. <laughs> I mean, I guess uh, I can leave uh, that uh, as an open-ended uh, statement for the, anybody the, to fill in the blanks, of, right? Of the root causes of pain? <laughs> I am a living demonstration. <laughs> well, you've put yourself out there. I okay, mean. and we're talking about abuse. Okay. <laughs> I can barely handle this this morning. Wait, but you're, <laughs> you're a demonstration of an overcomer, of how oh, you've taken you, unhealthy aspects in your own life and you've moved them um into a place where you've allowed the pain i mean like even this morning the winds are here in colorado yes the weather is changing and i know that you've got squiggly in your eyes i'm not even yes, sure if you can see me correctly right I, now I, I can but i'm struggling but I'm guess struggling. what you're not taking it out on me no i'm not and i'll take it out on nate and saul the, uh, the people behind the camera oh that's real well then we're gonna have to really uh we're gonna have to really you know, I'm set actually, some boundaries. I can't do that because they're bigger than I am and they're stronger than I am. You can't so do can't. that because you're not going to abuse anybody. Gordon. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. Okay, let's get started. Okay, um, we know this. Moving to the how-to portion bef before we set the stage, mm -hmm. I want people to remember this: when you're dealing with chronic pain, a lot of people scatter from your lives. They leave. And then the ones that are staying, the caregivers, the friends, the loved ones, they want to stick with you. But if you're abusing them and you're smashing their identity and their purpose and you're causing that bitterness in their heart mm. and they're dealing with guilt and shame for a prolonged period of time, you're pushing them out of your lives. We're trying to tear their identity apart, blaming and assigning blame of pain where it doesn't belong. Right. So when you're when you're literally pushing them out of your lives. Right. OK, you think, OK, I'm going to be healthier now and I can start on my own self and my own work and my own journey. I just want you to remember this. I'm, t I'm really talking to that audience member right now. That person is wounded. Okay, so for you then to move back into the position of I want to be relevant and start my own thing and leave an injured family member on the sidelines, mm. that's not a healthy way to start. 